you have a presentation coming up that you need to present online. You are creating slides to present to get your main points across and you want it to be simple and to the point. In this video, I'm gonna share an effective PowerPoint or keynote tip originally created by Guy Kawasaki, and that is the 10-20-30 rule. Hi YouTube, my name is Ryan and this is the Elevate Project. If you happen to get value in this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment below, and consider subscribing if you like content like this one. Online presentations are more common and for some, the only way to present. When you present in person, depending on your topic and your objective, you create content and slides that are engaging and typically have more time to present your content versus online. In person, you have the ability to leverage body language, tone of your voice, and also leverage your visuals on slides to drive home your point and influence. Today, when we present online, you want to accomplish all of these things and in most cases are drastically given less time than you would presenting in person to accomplish the exact same points. Most of us are still creating content in the same way as live presentations with lots of words on slides, thinking of different activities to keep the audience engaged, and coming up with great thought-provoking questions to carry home a point or message. The reality is we are only starting to understand the effectiveness and impact of online presentations. Understanding how to be impactful on camera while presenting and thinking of different online activities to connect complicated ideas into simpler ones to better understand certain concepts. When you're presenting in person, you think about the stage, why the audience is there, and eliminating visual and audible distractions and setting the environment to focus on you and your slides with your content. Which brings me to an amazing presentation guideline that works really, really well for in-person live presentations and what I found even better for online presentations. And this is the 10-20-30 rule originally created by Guy Kawasaki. The rules are simply 10 slides, 20 minutes, 30 point font. So let's talk about why this is an amazing guide for online presentations. Depending on your audience, they may have been on presentations all day and they have been sitting for hours at their desk. We all have, let's be honest, lower attention spans and working from home, we start thinking about other priorities, regardless if it's personal or business. And unless we are completely engaged and know the presentation won't feel like an eternity, they may not be even excited or motivated to what you have to say. Online, there are even more distractions for the presenter and the audience when presenting virtually. When you are a part of the audience and are online, it is easy to be distracted and to start multitasking. I've been through hundreds of Zoom meetings, WebEx meetings, and Microsoft Team presentations, and I am guilty to switch to a web browser, answer emails while someone was presenting. The first rule, 10 slides is a concept. Based on that, 10 is the optimal number of slides for people to comprehend in a meeting. When you only have 10 slides, it also helps you reduce your words on screen and overall content, and less is more, and can help you get really clear about your key ideas, message, or points. When I present online through Zoom or other platforms, like most of us, I share my slides from a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation and the audience are looking and focused more on my slides rather than looking at me or my webcam. So the 30 rule is 30 point font. It is about increasing your font size. Regardless, large or small, we tend to try to fill the screen with content. When we fill content with, with a small font, it produces lots of words. The audience may do a couple of things that can make them focus on the words on screen versus what you are saying. For example, they can take a screenshot 
they can take that screenshot and save it for later and not pay attention to your presentation. Or if they are reading ahead, they can see everything in your presentation, then you are basically just reading off your slides and they tend to get bored and might think you don't even know your material enough or the only thing they need to know and need to understand is already on the slides. So having a minimum of a 30 point font will force you to have less on the slide and really explain your message, which enables the audience to really listen, learn, and stay engaged. When I present, I actually turn off my webcam so the audience can focus on my voice, my tone, and my words. Unlike presenting live where people can start to focus on your body language or other nonverbal communication, when presenting online, when you're focusing on your slides, focus on choosing the right words, a variety in your tone, pitch, and voice to persuade, influence, or motivate your audience. Think about your objective, have an intent to get your main points across and that your content is clear and concise. You might even ask questions to gain buy-in, reflect understanding to adjust and improve your presentation. When asking questions online, try to keep it in the chat and make the questions yes or no questions to support your message and content. Some tips if you're trying to gain credibility or show you are an expert on the topic you are presenting, speak a little slower, add some pauses, and carry a monotone at the end of each phrase or sentence. If you wanna connect with your audience, speak a little faster with no pauses and add some passion or excitement at the end of each phrase or sentence. Lastly, the 20 rule. Depending on how much time you are given, keep your presentation up to 20 minutes. Include the introductions, time for some people to get online that may have some tech issues to connect properly to hear and see your presentation. And have time at the end for any questions or feedback. Now, depending on how much time you're given, either five minutes or even up to 45 minutes to present online, keep your main content and points up to 20 minutes and adjust for possible inconveniences, tech issues, or other things that are out of your control. The 10, 20, 30 rule has helped me elevate my online presentations that are to the point and more effective communicating what I need to communicate. I urge you to try the 10, 20, 30 rule if you haven't already, and you will give yourself the best possible shot to win over your audience. If you found value in this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment below, and let me know if you already heard of the 10, 20, 30 rule and if it has helped you out. And consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video to get content like this one. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.